80% of people living on the estate voted and over 80% of people voted positively for their estate to be transferred to Circle Anglia and Old Ford Housing Association. And that really was the start of our work uh, on the Mardike Estate to begin the whole regeneration programme that you're, we're celebrating the start of today. It's a six year project, four phases, 80 million pounds, 550 homes and a real change to this community. Old Ford is really proud of the work that we're going to be delivering here. We'll be spending eight, £80 million pounds demolishing the existing homes and building 550 new homes as well as focusing on working with the local community to deliver particular projects. For example, um, we're busy at the moment establishing a, a local youth house. The tenants really need this uh, regeneration project because if you look at that historically there's high levels of unemployment, low levels of educational attainment, a large number of single mothers and what we want to do is help these people to help themselves to raise their quality of life and we're really pleased to be working with Circle Angular on it. They'd be sad to see it go I suppose, a lot of the old, old people who've been here a long while it's, it's a new era isn't it, it's the, for the youngsters today though isn't it, it's the, it, they're their future, aren't they? So it'll be nice growing up in the, in the area. So we're not only interested with building a new physical community, we're also interested in building the opportunity for people to enhance life chances through regeneration. And that's a fantastic privilege for the organisation to be involved in. I think it's a really good example of local authority and the housing association working together to deliver a successful regeneration project. The, the regeneration people, the, uh, everyone involved has always talked to the tenants. It's always been tenants, we had our open meeting, they put their suggestions and we've taken them into consideration, the people have Old Ford and Circle Anglia. Regeneration on the Mardike Estate is absolutely critical to us. We've been working with tenants for four years and they've been asking for change. If you look around the area, look at the state of the housing, you can see the impacts that it has on their health and on their well-being, and we want to see that changed. We're rebranding this estate uh, to be called uh, Orchard Village in the future. Um, the name wasn't selected by Circle Anglia, it was selected by the residents of this estate, and they wanted to recognise that on the estate there used to be an orchard, and they thought that was a great image uh, for which the estate could be associated with in the future.